Hello friends, Tom Downey here for College Football Now on Chat Sports, presented by BetDSI, the internet's number one sports book. Let's take a look now at another head coaching replacement list. Today we have the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Paul Johnson has announced his retirement from Tech after a very good 11-year run. Not perfect by any means, but 83-59. That's a solid tenure for Paul Johnson in Georgia, or with Georgia Tech, excuse me. Now, he ran the triple option, and that might be an issue for Tech as they look for a new head coach. It's kind of impacted the recruiting at times, and if you bring in a coach that doesn't have the triple option background, you might have a bit of a, of a reset period getting the triple option offense into a more modern offense. Now, 10 guys we'll take a look at here. At number 10, Brian Bohannon. He is our first option here over at Kennesaw State, and he took over in 2013 with a program that was starting from the ground up. They did not field a team until 2015, and already Bohannon has Ken uh, Kennesaw State in the FCS playoffs, was the FCS Coach of the Year back in 2017, 23-2 in the last two years for Bohannon. A very impressive run there, and by the way, he coached at Georgia Tech under Paul Johnson from 08 to 2012 as the quarterbacks slash B-backs coach, terms you can only really get at the triple option teams. All right, number nine here is Brent Key. He also has ties to the Tech program, played there, and was a GA at Georgia Tech. Only 40, has been a three-time Broyles Award nominee, and oh, by the way, was once the former coach in waiting at UCF before the George O'Leary tenure kind of fell apart a little bit, and Key was also a victim of that one. Currently the O-line coach at Alabama, a job held, for example, in the past by guys like Mario Cristobal. So I don't think he's necessarily a top-tier target for, the, for Tech, but he is a potential dark horse to monitor for. All right, folks, today's show was brought to you by BetDSI, the Internet's number one sportsbook. Head over to chatsports.com bet and use promo code LIVE120 for a 120% deposit bonus. Put down 50 bucks, they're going to give you an extra 60 to bet with. 100 gets you 120. 500 means you got 600 extra dollars to bet with, but only if you use promo code LIVE120 at chatsports.com slash bet. Hurry, by the way, because you're running out of time to bet on college football games this season. All right, number eight, Bill Clark, one of my favorite coaches out there. If you can take UAB, who was defunct, and get them to back, in, to back bowl games and go seven and eight in the last two years, you're a winner in my book. So I love, or 17, excuse me, 17 and eight. Forgot a key 10 wins there. Bill Clark has done a fantastic job at UAB. Doesn't get the national praise he deserves. Has a lot of ties to the state of Alabama, more so than Georgia. But I think he makes sense at the Tech when to go get a group of five coach and want to move away from the triple option offense. Number seven is Jeff Collins, another guy with Georgia Tech ties. Now, I don't necessarily love this one because... 15 and 10 at two years in Temple, and then you make the leapfrog up to the Power Five. Eh, I'm not necessarily in love with it. I think Tech can do better, but the ties in a GA attack, you know, a couple years ago, I think makes enough sense to put him on the list here. I would, though, rather be underwhelmed by this hire. Number six, Neil Brown, another very popular group of five coach. Now, his background, more of an air raid style, is much different than what Tech has run, although. The offense for Troy has not really been a true air raid offense, and they beat LSU by just out physicaling them as well. But he's done a great job at Troy, 30 and 8 in the last three years. There is plenty of interest in Brown. I wouldn't be that surprised if Tech also made a call. Number five is Scott Satterfield, the App State head coach. Now he is drawing interest elsewhere, and he might just end up getting the Louisville Cardinals job after Louisville swung and missed on Jeff Brom, but if Satterfield does not end up at Louisville, maybe another ACC program in tech, not that far away from his current job at App State, also makes some sense. We'll stick in state now here for number four. How about Mel Tucker? And he's a Georgia defensive coordinator, so clearly knows the area, knows how to recruit the state and the states nearby as well. Experience in the NFL as a DC and very briefly as an interim head coach. And he was the runner-up for the Tennessee Volunteers head coaching job, although I guess that makes him a third runner-up since Greg Schiano also briefly had the job. So I think Tucker makes sense if Tech can go poach a defensive coordinator from a rival team. Kind of counts as a double win from that perspective. Number three now, the guy I consider the best and obvious option 
if Tech wants to keep the triple option offense, Jeff Monken over at Army. For starters, he coached under Paul Johnson at Tech and at Navy, and yeah, has a barely above 500 mark overall at Army, but 37 and 10 in the last three years is nothing to be ashamed of at Army. In fact, that's actually pretty damn impressive. So if you want to stick with the triple option, Jeff Monken is your guy. The question is, should Tech do that? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I lean more towards, yeah, I, I think it gives him a bit of an advantage. I don't think you're going to see Tech win 11 games every year, but it gives you the chance for some upsets, and in the lesser ACC division, it gives you a chance to win that side. So I am open to it. Now, if you want to go a different direction, I'm not going to fault you for it either. But I think having that week in competitive advantage, because teams don't get to prep for it every single week, I think can help. And Tech, frankly, I think has done a solid job. And if you want to move away from it, I get it. But I am on board with sticking with the triple option offense. Number two, and this one is rather curious to me, it's Ken Wisenhunt. And yeah, I'm talking about the former NFL head coach and the current Chargers offensive coordinator. Now, look, I get it. He's a native of Augusta, Georgia and played at Tech, and most importantly, was teammates with Tech's current AD, Todd Stansbury. But with that said, he hasn't coached in college since 1996. And I know it's the NFL and it's not the same as college, but his head coaching track mark wasn't really all that impressive either. So if I'm Georgia Tech, I get the connections, I get that your AD is friends with him, I still feel like maybe you could do a little bit better in the hire. If I'm Tech, I think I'm hiring Jeff Monken before I'm hiring Ken Wisenhunt. And by the way, he's only number two here. Timing is a factor. The Chargers are probably going to be a playoff team this year. Is Wisenhunt going to up and quit on LA in the middle of the year? Is Tech going to wait for him? Timing is always a factor in coaching searches. I don't know if the timing works out here for Wisenhunt at number two and with Tech. At number one, how about Tony Elliott? We mentioned him for the North Carolina job. That eventually went to Mac Brown. He also makes sense for Tech. The Clemson co-OC since 2015 is a Broyles Award winner. The big question for me with Elliott, it falls into the same category as Brent Venables as well. He's got a good gig. Offensive coordinator job at Clemson, that's a pretty solid job, especially for a young coach who went to Clemson. Would he leave the Tigers? I think he'd be a good fit at Tech if Tech can land him that's a great hire in my eyes, but I think, much like other teams have tried to do with Brent Venables in the past, you're going to have to find a way to sway him to leave Clemson. It's possible. I don't know if it's the most likely candidate, but I think Elliott is going to be at the top, if not, or at the very least near the top, of the Tech coaching search. So who should be the next Georgia Tech head coach? Let us know in the comments section. If it's a name that's not on our top 10 list, I'll be sure to respond and give some feedback on how, how lucky I think that option is. But here's my top 10 to recap one more time. Brian Bahannon, Brent Key, the Bama offensive line coach, Bill Clark, my boy, Jeff Collins at number seven, Neil Brown at number six, Scott Satterfield at number five, and then I kind of like this top four quite a bit. Mel Tucker, the DC at Georgia, Jeff Monken, the head coach of Army who coached under Paul Johnson at Tech and at Navy, Ken Wisenhunt with heavy ties to the current athletic director, and then number one Clemson co-OC, Tony Elliott. 